you have finished up to slide number 16 if i am not mistaken correct now so we have to start with upa pranas prana and vayu in bhagavad gita no Ah. Yeah, I think we have stopped here, I think, no? Correct? Sir, so, Upa Prana, Pancha Upa Prana, you have told us. Last time, we, uh, we will start from there. Pancha Prashwas. This uh, Prana, we have finished, no? Yes. Yes. Pranavayu. Yes. Which chart we are seeing? Yes, sir. Huh? The next one, concept of Pancha Prana. That we are seeing? No. This we are not seeing. Let us start with Pancha Prana. How many Pancha Prana? Prana, Apana, Udana, Samana. Huh? Okay. Jnana is not mentioned. Jnana. Prana is towards the respiratory system. Samana is towards the digestion. Apana is towards the excretion. Udana is towards the thyroid, parathyroid glands, upper part. And Vana is towards the entire part of the body's circulatory system. Now, related to Nadi. Which other nadis? Ida nadi, Ida, Pingala and Shishunna nadi. Samana is related to Shishunna nadi. Prana is related to Ida nadi. Apana is related to Pingala nadi. Udana is related to, uh, wait, Udana is towards the Kundalini. And Vana is towards the entire parts of the body. Now, my next question is, why Samana is related to Sushumna Nadi? Divya, go to the inner diagram part. Sushumna Nadi is in the middle part of the... the it is, when your Ida and Pingla are in uh, balance, the prana flows through the Sushumna Nadi. Thank you. Ah, the prana flows through the Sridha. And what is the function of Samana? Is for digestion. 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 So that's why the Susuna Nadi gets activated. Huh? Remember that. By my question, they, love, they, may ask, they may ask, but you should be ready with the answer. Pranava is related to Ida Nadi. Why Ida Nadi? Ida is on the left arm still. Ida activates the parasympathetic nervous system. Pingala activates the. Uh, uh, sympathetic nervous system. Now, pranava is related to Ida Nadi. Why? The intake of the oxygen and the carbon dioxide comes through Ida Nadi. When you take a deep breath, what is the quantification of air? Write it down. Normal person, when he breathes, now your breathing is going on. My breathing is going on. Normal breathing. 500 ml. 500 ml, normal breathing. In all pranayama, when deep breathing takes place, 2,500 ml, five times the normal air. Write it down, please. The quantum of the air, the volume of the air which is inhaled is 2,500 ml, five times the volume of the air. The residual air which is there inside the lungs, is not being expelled out completely. Now you say 1500 okay, then how 2500 will come out? The residual air which is there, usme se, okay, nikal jata hai. So around about 1800 or 1900, approximately, so research has shown, 1900 ml of air has been expelled out. So 700 milliliters of air is flying in the lungs. That is known as residual air. The anatomy will learn in the respiratory cell, right there, respiratory there. You can write a quantification. 
Are you getting me? Paru? Yes, sir. I had one query, sir. And how much period of time when we do this pranayam will we be able to inhale uh, 2,500 ml of uh, volume of air, oxygen? That depends upon the lung capacity. Initially, it will not be there. Initially, we will be able to breathe it to 1,500 to 2,000. Uh, uh, approximately. Depending upon okay. how many years. This is for continuous years of practice of 5 years, 6 years, continuous practices. You get 2,500 ml you know. The maximum air to exhale out the longer in the life. So, uh, the uh, even breathing, the... the rate of breathing should go down. But the rate of breathing will only go down on a deep breathing only, on pranayam. Second most important thing is moon one should be closed. Moon one should be closed. I explained to you yesterday. Huh? So, even for all pranayam, no? All pranayama, Ashtakuma pranayama, Omnia Ashtakuma pranayama, Divya. What are the Ashtakuma pranayama as per Atava Pradipika? Uh, so, first is uh, Surya Vedanam, then you have uh, Sheetali, Sheetkari, Bastika, Brahmari. Um, Plavini. Plavini, uh, Murcha. Murcha Plavini. Murcha Plavani, one I'm missing. Shitali Shitkari. Yeah, I told that. Shitali Shitkari, Bhastika, Brahmari, Surya Bedanam, uh, Murcha Plavani, seven. Okay. So only seven, I'm not able to recollect the eighth one. So this is supported by Prana. Because the maximum amount, the dominant among the Pancha Prana is the Prana. Second research also you can note it down. Second research method. Huh? This is just for Ujjayi, Ujjayi. Ujjayi. Second research method is this is pranavai. Small finger, water, agni, and, and the ring finger. This should be like this. In left hand. And right hand should be on the nose. So the flow of the prana becomes better and better. They say you sit in Padmasana or the Padmasana and you catch the leg like this. But by catching the leg, the prana which is generated may emanate out. So here what happens when you close these fingers like this, there is a continuous flow of the prana across the hand. What the point? There is a continuous flow of the prana across the hand. Huh? So coming back to that, soul is supported by prana. Prana is supported by apana. The purpose behind this is apana should only flow downwards. The, the functioning level of apana is going downwards. But by closing the mold one through the pranayama process, the apana will also come up and it will mix up with prana, pranavayu. Huh? Samana will, uh, samana to activate kanakani ka kanaka, prana has to activate. Prana will activate. Prana, prana has to activate only when. Apana will get activated. So all are interlinked. All wives are interlinked. Circulatory system will only take place when, when Vyana will operate. When Vyana functions to the pro. Please don't go and discuss the doctors. Doctors know only lungs. Doctors know only heart. Doctors doesn't know what is nadis. Nadis are what? How do you define nadis? Energy channels, there are 72,000 energy channels uh, in the body. They are called nadis, which carry the pran. 
the doctor will ask like this what is then what is the difference between nerves and nadis so nadis are sukshma they are subtle they are not physical uh, nerves okay nerves are also not carrying energy channels are they not carrying energy if that is a physical they are they actually carrying the subtle energy what we call yes that is the correct answer okay see examiners can ask anything they will ask anything can yeah, you remember chandmana out of that how many are important 10 nadis are important out of 10 3 nadis are important ha huh? ida pingalan chittuna nadi okay out of 10 10 nadis are important that 10 nadis you can uh, find out from whatever pingalan purka e sab there are 10 nadis are there prana and upaprana okay ha huh? next apani support of vana vana support of samana okay see all are internal the five sapcha upapana tha purma prikra devadatta naga and dhananjaya upaprana it's a very important epithetia uh, madam it lot of lot of efforts have prepared it not now during my learning this after the effects of prana leaving the body as long as the prana is retained in the body uh, body will not die life is generated with inhalation and with exhalation and there is no, there is loss of prana when the breath is held the prana does not move or it becomes stabilized when we say what is the difference between the person he has died and he has breath is last what is the difference between that that person has died divya that person has died that person has breath is last what is the difference so if the person is not breathing then the prana will not be there in his body ah huh. that is a very sophisticated way to say that madam he has breath is last Anything. I will not say he has died. That may, that 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 may hurt somebody. He has breath is last. Okay. So one question coming to uh, that uh, the previous slide, Dhananjaya, you said is only during uh, when the person is around death. That was mentioned. So that is the last prana uh, in the body, or it is. I mean, is it never there in our body, or it only gets activated when the uh, Prana is going out yeah. of the body. Then these upa pranas are the subtle pranas are the main main uh, prana. Okay, prana mm -hmm. is dominant among the panch prana. That is always remember. Prana mm -hmm. controls all the other four pranas. Uska subtle is is a upa prana, and this is the last. Then and then lingers around the death. That means that uh, that prana that lingers around the death. This yogic knowledge should be shared only with the yogic people, not with the even to your parents or this much who are not aware of yoga. Please, and they will make a mockery. Are you what you are telling me? What you have learned from the school? Huh? What you have learned? You have learned heart and lungs. Now you are telling sushma and gross and all. What is this going on? It makes then it creates a negativity in our mind. You should discuss with only yogic people. Who are well knowledge? Okay, please remember that. Don't no, never to discuss doctors also. Doctors are not even discussed. Doctors. I am asking for my query only. Huh? I didn't understand. Dhanan Jaya, it gets activated in the body only around the death, death, or is it always there in the body? No, no, no. Only in the last moment of death. Huh, that was my query. See. Okay. Thank you, sir. Where when a person dies, you put the hand below the nose and see the breath is there, na? Huh? Ah? When there is no breath, means what? No inhalation, no exhalation is going on. That means life is stopped. Life is stopped. So then, and that is the last type of breath which is there. That's why it is going the last. Okay, pick up and this one. As long as the prana is retained in the body, by life is generated with the inhalation and the exhalation, there is loss of prana. When the breath is held, the prana does not move or it becomes stabilized. Now, prana and vayu as in Bhagavad Gita, chapter number five, shloka number twenty-seven, 
सिलेबस That's why Bhagavad Gita reference has been mentioned. Which sense, which is the senses, mind and intellect, controlled having liberation as its supreme goal, free from desire, fear and anger. The saint is within is liberated forever. There is an intimate relationship between the rhythm of the flow of the breath in us and our own mental thoughts. Condition: the more agitated the mind is, the more spasmodic and uncertain becomes the rhythm. Okay. मनस्सन चंचल कृष्ण यहां भगवदगीता में चंचल मनस कृष्ण इनिशली वॉट एपन्स द माइंड बिकम वेरी टर्बुलेंट एंड वेवरिंग इफ रिलेटिव स्टैंडिंग बिफोर हिम कजन मदर आर स्टैंडिंग बिफोर हिम के नॉट लिफ्ट द बो एंड एरो कृष्ण के नॉट लिफ्ट द बो एंड एरो मनस चंचल कृष्ण सो मेरे इंटीमेट फ्लो द ब्रथ There he compares it with the with the see in or in a man's daily life, a person having BP will have any imbalance in his way of breath. His breath will be not neither it will be equalized, neither in the exhalation will be as much. But affected way of breathing, any affected way of breathing will affect the system. Any affected way of breathing will affect the system. Why so, Varsha? Any system which is affected by any parts of the body will have imbalanced breath. Please remember, any imbalance of the breath affects the body. Why so? Or say any body which has been affected by any parts, body pain, back pain, lower back pain, and this much. Then we slight imbalance of the breath depending upon the disease which is the body is having. Just now I heard of one of my uh, shop vendor. Divya. Just here, the varicose veins. No diabetes, ah? Huh? Operation कर रहा है. I am first time hearing varicose vein का operation करना मंगता है. No diabetes. Is the person not able to walk at all with varicose veins? Varicose vein doctor is telling you are standing a lot. So shock you for it. Okay. The entire leg has become black. Age is only sixty two. Okay. And our mental thought condition: the more agitated the mind is, the more spasmodic and uncertain becomes the rhythm. Therefore, the instructions here, which advise us to control our breath flow, make it even within the nostrils, become a conductive practice of coercing the mind to a relatively positive system. Now, chapter number four, part twenty-nine. अपानो अपाने जुवती प्राण प्राण अपान तथा पद प्राण प्राण अपान गति रुद्वा प्राणायाम अपराणायण अपाने जुवती प्राण प्राण अपान अपान तथा पद प्राण अपान गति रुद्वा प्राणायाम अपराणायाम अदर्स ऑफर सच सैक्रिफाइस एंड द इनकम एंड द इनकमिंग इन द आउटगोइंग 
restrained in the course of the outgoing and incoming breath, slowly absorbed the restraint of breath. The concept of Puraka, Kumbhaka and Rajaka are well explained in standard. Prana used in the scriptures indicate the various manifested activities of life in the living body. Apane, outward breath, that is exhalation. Juvati, Pranam. Juvati means in conjunction with. Pranam means the inhalation. Here, in, because they are comparing the inhalation and exhalation. Pranam, Apanam, Tatapare. Tatapare means there is a standstill. Standstill. What is standstill? Prana and Apanam. Apanam here is exhalation. Pranam is inhalation. Pranam, Apana, Gati. The flow of the prana and apana. Rudva means stoppage. Pranayama, apa pranayama. What is that? Stoppage is kumbha. They are not mentioned the word kumbha. They are mentioned rudva. Rudva prana, apa pranayama. Got the point? Any difficulty? The concept of pura, kumbha, and richa are well explained in the stanza. Prana using the scripture indicate the various manifested activities of life. The living body. Then, Etta Kashiti Nityam Vayu Sarvatrago Mahana Tata Sarvani Bhutani Machyandriya Machyandini Nitya Upadane. As the extensive air, oblique wind, moving everywhere, be born of ether, ever remains in ether Akash. Likewise, Know that all means who have originated from my Sankarpa abide in me. You say, no, I find God in you. Same way, you, you should also know that God is there every, everywhere. Here, the same thing. As the extensive air, wind, moving everywhere, being born out of ether. Ether means the atmospheric air, then known as ether. Ever remains in ether or akas. Likewise, know that all means who have created from my Sankalpa abide in me. Means all living creatures are in me, Krishna says. Okay. Now, what is the concept here? What is the concept of it? Here the concept is not of prana and apana. Inhalation, prana is inhalation, apana. No. Here the concept is air and wind. So here, 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 here uh, the, uh, Krishna is telling about the entire world. Then he had distributed in the earlier stanza, he had distributed only to the prana and apana, to an individual. Here he is talking about the entire world, entire manifestation of the entire organism. You are able to get me now? I will go so still. All living creatures yes. who have prana and ah. vayu, they reside you? in him. That is what he is saying. Yes, yes, that is what he says. Okay. Here he, does, he has not used the prana and apana. Okay. Now, Atava Pradimuka. Malakuleshu Nadisu, Marato Neve Mantaga, Katam Katam Sai in the enemy, Bhavaha, Kari Siddhi Katam Bhaveta. Malakulam, the vital air does not pass in the middle channel. What is the middle channel? Susuna Nadi. Because the Nadis are full of impurities. So, how can the state of Udmani, that is, no breath state, arise and how can perfection or the Siddhi can come about? See, when you do Kaparbhati, after a certain 50 rounds or 60 rounds, when your mind says, stop it now, I will bust around. At that particular moment, for a fraction of a second, you feel no breath. That means, if you observe very minutely, you will feel there is no breath. No breath means neither inhalation nor exhalation, normal state, huh? normal state. When you stop the kapal bhakti, the breathing has to come to a normal state. And after that in a normal state, you should observe the no, state of no breath. That is known as unmani. What's the point? Unmani is what? A stage of no breath. So kapal bhakti, they will tell you to do 10-15 rounds. Okay. And then they will say, then they will ask you, what is this no breath stage? Just explain. They may ask a very talented examiner, like I ask sometimes, what is your money? Just tell me in Kaparbhati. Then, 
second is what is the pressure that i'll come by in the practical side now one would like to see the light body in which there are 1000 by that structure known as nadis which are energy carrying channels shiva samhita says that there are 350000 nadis shiva samhita says 350000 in the body prapachana tantra says 3 lakh nadis goraksha satkara says 70000 nadis this nadi distributes consciousness and plant to every atom however gerana samhita states when all nadis are full of impurities vayu does not enter the nadis okay vayu does not enter the nadi when all nadis are full of impurities vayu does not enter the nadis so again i will repeat kanchatvatri nadi ila pingla chitruna मला पुरेशो नाडिसु मारुतो नवे मध्यगह कलम स्थायुनो मावि कार्य सिद्धि कतब भवेत हियर द कांसेप्ट इन दिस इन दिस 2.16 और 2.18 कंसीडर ओनली प्राणा एंड वायु एज मेंशन इन द वेरियस टेक्स्ट दे आर रेफरिंग टू सो वी हैव फिनिश्ड भगवत गीता वी हैव फिनिश्ड द विंड एंड एयर विंड आल्सो एयर एंड विंड ओके नाउ वी हैव कम टू अदर प्रतिमा अदर वीना योगिक टेस्ट अनलाइक भगवत गीता will only talk about the vayu which is flowing inside the radis so i had one query oh uh, last time we had mentioned about that tatkal that stoppage so would unmani i mean if the examiner asked would unmani and tatkal be the uh, same would would that definition be the same for both because uh, tatkal and there was ummam and unmani are not same Unmani is a complete stop of the breath, whereas there is light breath going on in the kumbak stage. Inhalation is deep breathing, exhalation also is deep exhalation. Huh? When there is a kumbak stage, when the when the, you are forcefully retaining the air, not surge kumbak, yes, pure kumbak. Mm -hmm. So at that time, the kumbak stage, you are catching both the nose. So there is light breath is there due to the You don't apply the pressure completely to block the nose, huh? Yes. But no breast stage is happens only during kapal bath. At the end of the kapal bath, and always don't exceed the kapal bath. So then, kevala kumbha ke unmani ya same. That's what kevali. Uh, then tatkal there was sahaj. Last time we had even uh, discussed sahaj and uh, tatkal kumbha. So I I mixed up all I think in uh, my definition here. Sahaj, Sahaj Kumbha, Sahaj Kumbha and Tatkal Kumbha ka inquiry is almost the same. Kumbha happens without the closure of the nostril with Sahaj Kumbha. Mm -hmm. You imagine yourself without touching the fingers, not your thumb on the right finger and other two fingers on the left side. No, just do Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama without closing the eyes. You feel the left nostril is being inhaled. There is a stoppage of the breath. This is imagination. Imagination. This can happen only when, when, when this can happen. Natural flow of the anulom vilom. When you are practicing, when you already practice pranayama for a long time, now those person can entertain. A newcomer or a person who one month or two month practice will not get this state of this. What the point? Yes, sir. Yeah, got it. Only a yes, person who has practiced for long number of years will have a sahaj anulom vilom. Sahaj, sahaj means without giving any force. Okay. So, whenever say seventy nine nadi is mentioned, where Goraksha Satkara, ah, that is mentioned in. See, people are very familiar with seventy nine thousand. How many nadi are seventy nine thousand nadi? We have been talking about the Gorak Satkara. Okay. Don't say after we are going to do it. Is wrong, huh? Okay. Now, two by five, two by four, two by one. Not clear. Yeah? Okay, that is correct. Right. Here they are talking about the prana. They are not talking about prana. Two by one. अटव प्रतिपिक टू बाय वन इज चले वाते चले जितम निश्चल निश्चलम भवे दैट इज प्राणायाम हियर दे टॉक अबाउट प्राणवायु हां 
Now, the next concept of 2 by 5 is how to purify the impurities which are there in the nodules. Specifically, Nida, Pingla, and Shuddha nodules. These are the dominant nodules which are there in the inside the system. Shuddhi Methi, Yada Sarve, Nadi Chakram Malakulam, Tadeva Jayato, Yogi, Prana Sang, Spana Sangrahena Samaha. Shuddhi Methi, Yada Sarve, Nadi Chakram Malakulam, Tadeva Jayate, Yogi, Prana Sangrahena Samaha. When the Nadi Chan Chakras are full of impurities, are purified, then the yogi is able to retain the prana. This is the process of prana awakening Kundalini Shakti in the body. The sadhaka not only to set its clear of the nadi, but also increase the quantity and quality of the prana and store it. Prana is accumulated in the six main centers. These centers are located in the subtle body and correspond to the nerve impulses, the physical body. Now impulses are not now. The command from the nadis goes to the now impulse. From the now impulse, go to the nerves. So, analyzing the this, it becomes more subtler than subtler. The prana becomes more subtler than subtler than the nadis what you call. Nadis are more subtler than the nerves. And that's why they are known as energy carrying channels. And that's why after continuous practice of asana and pranayama, the mind becomes low, low now. What's the point? Yes. Oh. They are known as chakras. It's a circle motion of wheel. When the near the coming to concept of such chakras. Okay. I told you now. Prana Shakti and Mata Shakti collect trees in the chakras and form swirling mass of energy. Each chakra is a conjunction point of many nadis. There are numerous chakras in the body, but the main chakras situated along the Shushuta nadi are specifically concerned in the human evolution. The detailed diagram of such chakras that are mentioned in the next slides. Now, chakras are crossing like this and touching the vertex of this one. Okay, interlinking like this. Each vertex is known as the chakras. Muradara chakra, Sajistan chakra, Manipura chakra, Anatha chakra, Visuddhi chakra, Ajna chakra, and Sahasra chakra. Okay. Tashta. When you take to the students or to the patient, only Kundalini should not be aroused. Only relaxation by observing the color and the visa mantras and body parts. Are you getting it? Just for knowledge, this is these are visa chakras, these are the colors. Give your sky magic kind of violet, indigo, violet, blue, green, yellow, uh, blue, and all. Okay, indigo, red. Four buttons are Udara chakra red, orange is warm. <coughs> then comes Manipura chakra 10, 10. 12 is Yam, heart chakra. Then blue chakra, Vishuddhi chakra are 16 buttons, which is the gland which activates. Come on. Throat, which is the gland which activates? Thyroid. Thyroid and? and Parathy uh, parathyroid. Which is the hormone which secretes? Thyroxine, uh, thyroxine and parathyroxine. Okay. <coughs> and now, this is the most Adya Chakra. Adya Chakra is Om Reta, either be Om Reta. Okay. When you do the relaxation, you have to just relax and understand the chakra and start with the akar, ukar, and makar. When you take your mind, the, the students or the patient's mind from the leg, you have to start and reach up to the state. When you, when you read the pelvic region, 
when you read the nabi part the lower part is over you should recite akal this is at very advanced stage of relaxation na madam you can try on your students middle part are awareness of the body parts awareness of the spinal cord awareness of the abdomen awareness of the diaphragm awareness of the lungs awareness of the larynx pharynx the bronchial tubes the alveolus so this will be as a part of the yoga nidra where we are relaxing no, no, first no, no, no you okay. get deeper into that i am coming to yoga nidra today i am really taking a little extra because really important matters are there okay we have to finish up this so this is this is telling only the relaxation parts of it yoga nidra is much deeper with a very thought process you have to go into the set thought process huh that's why they recommend uh, this Ravi Shankar. Sankalpa. Uh, yeah. Sankalpa. Yeah. Okay. So this is this. Now, Mula Chakra, Bija Mantra, Lam. Lam. Ah. Uh, what is the quality? Gandh. Smell. Vayu, Apana Vayu. Because in the lower part. Color is red. Influences the excretory and reproductive organs and the glands. Directly connected with nose, smell, and animal instincts. Okay. ये याद रखना है आपको. Any crack for me? Ask sometimes. What is the what is the which part it is mentioned, or uh, which is the Bija Mantra and what the uh, Omni Patel? Omni Patel they last. Maybe everybody knows. Which is the organ? Or which are the organ will get activated? Then a uh, ordinary person say by just uh, concentrating on it and do the samasa, your respiratory portion will activate. It is not so. Disease has to be diagnosed. Disease symptoms have to be ascertained. What are the causes for that? The disease has to be separated with the medicines. When the body when the body separated with the medicines, the functioning level becomes better and better, and then only the yoga activates. Please remember. Yoga is not a medicine for anything. Pranayama is not a medicine for this one. But the restraining power pranayama has, the bacteria, external bacteria, will not enter the system. What the point? Yeah. The external bacteria will not enter the system of the body. Okay. So this time, warm. What did I say? Rasa. वायु इज ज्ञान वायु ज्ञान कलर इज ऑरेंज सी वायलेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द सहस्त्र चक्र प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट यूरिनरी एंड रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम रिप्रोडक्टिव सिस्टम द बोथ इन मूलाधार एंड संस्थान आल्सो टंग एंड सेंस ऑफ टेस्ट मणिपुर Why did not come in? So this done. This is one hour. Ah, Manipur is lying here. Uh, Searching of Manipur. The this is yes, and is a rupa samana. The digestion process starts from here. That's why samana. That's why see, I told you that. Know, Yana apana is towards the downward side. Here apana also activates on this term, but Yana also activates more than the apana. Here also samana. Been in the middle portion of the body and the nabi, samana activates more, but vayana also activates a little. All vayus are interlinked. All vayus are interlinked. You should know the position of the vayu. The after Manipur, digestive to the assimilation of food. I sense sight. What are I? Uh, this I sense sight. Now. 
It should be very clear which is the rupa, which is the uh, this, which is the color, and which are the process, the organ which gets activated. Huh? Anatha chakra, heart, green in color, parsha, touch, which is this prana. Why prana? Because prana is lying near the respiratory system. And prana is the dominant among the pancha pranas. Green in color, yam, cardiac plexus, heart, emotions of love and hate, compassion and cruelty, sense of touch. It should be Shabda, Udana, Blue, Hum, Thyroid, maintain the purity of the body and the mind. Ears, sense of audition, throat and speech. Throat and speech because it is thyroid is situated here. You might have seen in the photo the thyroid and parathyroid gland. Parathyroid gland stands in the back, thyroid stands in the front, like this. Okay? Any difficulty till here? Dandar chakra, home in the dispatch, two, two chakras. As you move from the grosser level to certain level, from the Manipura to the Sastra, the number of chakras goes on increasing. It's only up to the heart chakra, the 12 chakras, 16 chakras are there, up to Vishuddhi. The once you enter the Vishuddhi, you are into the Sublimation state or uh, this stage, there you become lesser and lesser at the Adya Chakra. You begin to activate the nadis, the Sahasra Chakra gets in the 1000 patterns are there. Sahasra Chakra, 1000 patterns. Om is this A, O, and Ma. That, that is very detailed. Matuk Upanishad, Akar, Upar, and Maka. That I am not taking it now. Violet in color, indigo and violet, no difference. Crown of the head, pituitary gland. Kundalini experience of human evolution. Okay. Experience of human evolution. Now, this is out of the topic. Prana in Pranama forced by energization, pranic energization technique, not there in the syllabus. These are my study which has been done in MSc as well, sir. Okay. At a senior age, not at a young age like you. The very senior age, I had done all this. As well, sir, through the research work, as ascertained that the flow of the prana in the different areas can revitalize the immune system and thereby face that intrude upon the cancer disease also. The pranic annihilation technique on pranama kosha. What uh, you have learned in the morning, no? Vyadi and Anadaji Vyadi. Parul. Yes, sir. Anna. Yes, sir, Bodhi. You have learned from uh, 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 Saraswati. Prana and yes, sir. Anna. So, what you have learned? Adi and Vyadi. So any body, any disease, this is B I S E S. You are not at ease. Any disease afflicts the mind, manomaya kosha. From manomaya kosha, it percolates to pranamaya kosha. And pranamaya kosha. Pranamaya then annamaya. Annamaya kosha. Huh? So we have got an advanced technique called integrated approach to yogic technique. So very favorite topic of pranayama. And IIT concept of relaxation through the different process of DRT, PET, MSRT. Okay. Mm -hmm. Humidity is defined as the ability to recognize and destroy and eliminate the material foreign to its eliminate the material foreign to itself. Okay. Most of the four mudras used under the Vivakya Pranayama, Chin Mudra, Chinmay Mudra, Adi Mudra, Namaskar, are to be practiced so that now impulses, heartbeat, pulse, etc., can be fed, leading to a recognition of. Yana prana. Now, what is this Vibhagya Pranayama? Can anybody tell? Divya, Vibhagya Pranayama. Sectional. Maybe just repeat the word. The word means sectional uh, in sections. Vibhag means in sections, na? compartments. Yeah. 
Now, what is this Chin Mudra, Chin Mai Mudra? Chin Mudra is this, sir. This is the regular one which we do, Chin Mudra, if I'm not mistaken. This is... No, this. Then which is Jnana Mudra? So this Chin and Gyan, they say is the same, no? One and the no, same. This is Gyan and this is Chin. chin. This is Jnana Mudra. This is Chin Mudra. Chin Mudra. This is Chin Mai Mudra. Okay. Adi Mudra. So yeah. your thumb is inside, sir, in that? The and thumb? This is the... the this. Exactly below the Nabi. Yes. That is? Brahma Mudra. Brahma Mudra. Huh? So, the parts which are taking is what? Chin Mudra, only the abdomen activates. Chin Mai Mudra, middle part activates at a thoracic level. Adi Mudra, write it down, madam, please. Yes, yes, sir. Sectional meaning they ask. You will not get in any of the book. So please can you repeat chin with chin mudra activates the abdominal, abdominal. area. Chin maya activate the thoracic the middle part above the diaphragm and below the clavicula. Adi mudra activate the upper part at the clavicular level. Brahma mudra activate the entire parts of the lungs. That is full yogic breathing. Full yogic breathing. My next question is, when can this be activated more? In Padma Mudra, Artha Padma Mudra, Artha Padmasan, Full Padmasan, Simple Cross Leg or Vajrasan? Bolo. Divya, question to you. So technically in Full Padmasan, uh, this will be activated more. Wrong. Uh, so in all, I think in any of the uh, any of the asan where a person no, is no, able. I, I will not accept that. I want a comparative position. I gave simple cross leg, Ardha Padmasan, full Padmasan, and Vajrasan. This activation of this sectional breathing or a very active in, pranayama. So in Vajrasan, the yeah. abdominal area. That is the point. Uh, activated but in Vajrasana. People, people do it in Padmasana only. But hey, activation, sexual breathing, Jada activate on the Kide, Jada to our prana functioning like Kalia. You get it done it through Vajrasana. So I am um, uh, actually. You should, you should mention in the answer the results of the sexual breathing will be better obtained. Write it down. The results of the sexual breathing will be better obtained through Vajrasana. Next question from the exam will be, why you are talking about Vajrasana? Why not in Padmasana? Because, why? Because, come on, Divya, why? There is the abdominal compression. In, unlike in Padmasana, there is the abdominal compression is there. The movement of the abdomen is not so much as in Vajrasana. So then that won't be comfortable now if the abdomen is compressed. That is why uh, many people tell us to do it in Padmasan or Ardha Padmasan. Okay, fine. Now, placement of the chin mudra, it should be exactly below the thighs. Exactly below the thighs. Placement of the mudra should be exactly in the middle of the thighs. Madam, light it down. Please. Madam, please. Online exam is done there. So they'll ask you to show me Chin Mudra. So you'll have to show like this. See this. So, you can, uh, so please can you uh, get your fingers a little more closer to the camera? Yes. Now it's better. Chin Mai Mudra. So in Chin Mai, the, uh, the other three fingers are closed. And this is, is it correct? Correct. See my, see my finger. Hmm. 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 Exactly in the middle. In the middle of the yeah. thighs. 
Adi Mudra. Come inside. Atka Mutti. Okay. Atka Mutti. On the upper part. Clavicular. And when your abdomen gets compressed near the Nabi, full yogi breathing. So is it like Mandukasan when we do the Adi Mudra, sir, in uh, Mandukasan, ah. in Vaj when we sit in Vajrasan, we do this Adi Mudra and we compress uh, below ah. the navel, a little, dono side pe navel ke, thoda niche. And then, so would that be considered? No, no. There you are actuating in the pancreas. Okay. The rotation of the fist. You are activating the pancreas. Here you are activating the full yogic breathing. Now, the placement should be not like this. It should be like this. Second, it should be interlocked. It should not get released. As you go down, as you place below the army, it should get released. Try to hold maximum. Are you able to see, Divya? Yes. Yes, sir. So, it should place below the now you understand the difference for placing here and placing below the Nabi. The full yes, abdomen, yes. the diaphragm will come up, the diaphragm will come down, the chest will expand, the lungs will expand, the clavicular plant will expand. So that is full yogic breathing. Whereas when you place in the groin, only you are activating the pancreas, the spleen is on the left, the liver is on the right. You are activating the organ which are there. Because you are doing inhalation and exhalation. What the point? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So this will be there for practical vibhagya pranayam because I have never learnt it uh, actually. I mean, I have never. Uh, it's your syllabus. So, this okay. section beginning is there. You okay. should know section and beginning. So you should explain all this. Okay. Chin mudra, chin mai mudra, adi mudra. Section beginning is there. This is the base of pranayama. The pranayama is learned from here. This is the base of any class of pranayama. Your SSE, SSE is Basrika. And KG class is sectional B. Okay. To learn, to have an ideal non-issue the pranayama, which is the base of the pranayama, you should understand what is sectional B. Okay. Madam, escape pada hai sab itna sab itna ye nahi hai madam. Just by doing under no, I have toyed like anything. I am not praising myself. I should not praise myself. Okay. So these are the four mudras that are very very important. Now, this is by my touch and release of the mudras many a time during the process of relaxation. The relaxation of the feet is felt by closing the thumb under Adi Mudra, Namaskar Mudra, a slight touch and release on the fingers. This is in the relaxation stage of PET. PET is pranic generation technique. Huh? That is done in the relaxation. This is not there in the exhalation, only section and be This is just for your knowledge. This is PT's experience, is thought for the patients. There is a hospital where yogi treatment takes place in Shwasa. Divya, you should go and attend. You should attend like a patient there. Good yogi process. You will be surprised to know a person with a cancer patient had come there. And now he's a teacher there. Treating the patients. Full to advanced relaxation of the PET, MSRP, and all. And basic pranayamas and asanas. This, he had a, I think, a stomach of Babunda. There is a, a boil in the stomach that had led to the cancerous growth. It became very nice. Okay. The relaxation and practice felt by both the thumb under Adi Mudra and Namaskar Mudra. But like that, and the fingers on the hand. 
alternate present release has to be done to the mudras, thereby experiencing the now impulses. Impulses. Jumping to the brain along the head, thereby moving from the gross to the subtle level. From the downward level to the higher level, the movement is from the grosser level to the subtle level. Okay. The movement from the downward to the higher level is from the grosser level to the subtle level. The flow of the prana when it moves upward towards the nervous system, the inner is subtle and subtle. Subtle and subtle is taught the volume of the air may be the same. But the unpent air is the lesser and lesser. The concentration, the volume of the air may go on decreasing. What's the point? Yes, sir. The sensation increases due to the continuous practice, thereby feeling the pulse, the heart rate, the sound vibrations, and now impulses. Any relaxation done after the practice of asana and pranayama? With a hundred percent, one twenty by eighty is the practice. Most relaxation after the recovery. It is not due to the medicine. It is due to the asana and pranayama. Remember that. The perfect asana and pranayama done and relaxation is done. Immediately we take the blood pressure plus one twenty by eighty. Even at a senior citizen level. Pity relaxes on now it must be Yana and further to set chakras awareness and Omkar Kati. Yana is one of the functional manifestations of Prana, which is responsible for that sensation. Hence, Yana controls and governs the now impulses and the touch organs. Now impulse of the rate of 30 feet per second upward to the brain. Yana can move in any direction and travel at a speed ranging from very slow to infinity. Yana is thus not bound by. Time and space. Vyana is the moment of so the circulatory system. So it moves, the Vyana body moves to the entire parts of the body. Okay. But the dominant is prana. Other huh? Now impulses move. See, see the velocity of the now impulse 30 feet per second. 30 feet per second. What is the right? 5 feet 5 inches. 5 feet 5 inches. This 30 feet per second is going up and down, up and down, up and down. Huh? No impulses. What is no impulses? That sensation which is felt out of the no impulses, that is not no impulses. Not now. No impulse. Impulses. Mm -hmm. No impulse. Touching. Finger can touch here, that is no impulse. Right? Just because you have touched the finger, the nerve is getting activated. Same way, the impulse which is felt now, this one. I had a problem with the sound. Why? The nervous system said the nerve was not It was not touching the sound box. Now I am on medicines, I am able to talk properly, that is a different thing. Okay. I had waited four or five months. I was able not going to give lecture also. Now I'm not allowed. Okay. When I can move and uh, try at a speed ranging from very slow to infinity. When I just not bound by time and space. Okay. Are my favorite famous slogan, Prana Prasna Upanishad. Feed and chips are the redirection of now in process. And when I'm Prana say in the Vasena Sarvam, Triteva yet Pradishitam, Mateva Putrana Rakshasu, Srisha Pradna the Vide in it. Prasna Punisha, two by third. This is just for information because this is a very famous and patent sloka of Espasa. Prana say in whatever existence we were diven to is all under the control of Prana. Oh, Prana protect us as a mother protects her sons, gives us affidence. And intelligence. What the point? Whatever exists in three words, it's all under the control of prana. Oh, prana protect us as a mother protects her sons, use us affluence and intelligence. This is just the additional information I have put my thought process in this. Nobody is going to ask you what is PET, MSRP, but section in is important. 
तीन मुद्रा तीनमय मुद्रा आदि मुद्रा ब्रह्म मुद्रा विदाउट मुद्रा ऑन द फिजिकल लेवल ऑन द हंसना सर कैन यू शो सो दस सी तीन मुद्रा पैरल टू द ग्राउंड पैरल टू द एबडमन सिटिंग इन वज्रासन Can I remove the press so you can see it very clearly? Below the chest strips, compress. Exhale. Inhale. Show me without mudras. So you have to show it like this. Sit in vajrasan. Compress below the ribs, hands parallel to the thighs. I am not able to sit in Madrasan. Okay, but you should show. What happens here, Divya? What happens here? Come on. So here, uh, the the what abdomen. Happens? Abdomen. Ex abdomen gets expanded. Yes, the Why abdomen gets expanded. expanded? When you compress, there is an expansion. When you inhale, the fingers are moving. Fingers are not moving. The abdomen is moving. The fingers are static. Due to the expansion of the abdomen, the fingers are moving backward. The thumb, the hand is moving backward. Elbows is moving backward. The hand should be kept like this, sir. Thumb and the back, fingers parallel. See my fingers. That's why I made the finger, uh, camera down. This is Chin Mudra. Below is just tips. You can sit in Vajrasan, Nivya. You can sit in Vajrasan. Show your camera. You are not able to sit in Vajrasan? No, sir. As of now, no. Okay. You have your food, that's why. I, I had weight. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, today I am in a different uh, area, so I can sit in Vajrasan. So is it? No, no, that is okay. Uh. Next is Chin Mudra. Chin Mudra. Chin Mudra. This is Chin Mudra, but not Mudra. This is abdominal breathing. This is abdominal breathing. Next is thoracic breathing below the armpit. So you will have to uh, adjust the camera. You can't see. Below the armpit. I am having frozen shoulder. Please excuse me. Thumb will be right below the armpit, like this. Thumb will be below the armpit. Okay. And you will compress. Now you will inhale. Inhale. Exhale. What is this? Which part gets activated? The chest area, the thoracic area. Thoracic area. Thoracic area. That should be the answer. Thoracic area gets activated. Mm -hmm. Then, sitting in Vajrasana, put your hands at the back. Cross your hands at the back. Oh, take your hands at the back. Parul. Yes. Palm will be on my, I can put it this way? Yes. One hand on the other hand. Okay, cross. You cross. Like this? Yes. Close your eyes and do the deep breathing. So, come on, Divya, you also can do. Concentrate which part of uh, which part of prana is going. Which part? I can feel both my abdominal and thoracic. I can feel both the parts. So here clavicle is getting more. Uh... Ah, that is the answer. Correct answer. Not abdomen. Abdomen also expands, but huh. the degree of expansion is more in clavicular. 
less in thoracic, less in abdomen. Mm -hmm. The degree of expansion, by mm -hmm. the degree of expansion, is more on the close your eyes and again do it. Chadi leke bata me idhar. Aap se karke lega me. Now the matter is sorted. Parun. Yes, sir. We have told clavicular, but are you confirmed now with the clavicular only? Yes, but I can I can also feel my entire when I'm focusing, I can feel from the abdomen, thoracic, and then upper. I mean, this is the rhythm that I was feeling. Acha, when you did the Chinmay Mudra, when you, when you did the parallel, at that time you felt about a clavicular? Yes. So I can do it. Definitely, I can feel this area. Clavicular. Yes. And when I'm doing, uh, when I'm putting my hands behind, I can feel actually the rhythm, like my abdomen first expands, then the chest, and then the clap. That is full yogi breathing. That is full yogi breathing. Huh? I could feel that, not just the clavicle, I could feel the entire thing. I mean, uh, that, that was my feeling. So, here in this, this, the last for a better, this, you know, compress the abdomen through Brahma Mudra. Through Brahma Mudra. That is considered full yogi. But here also there is full yogic breathing, as you have mentioned. Here there is more of clavicular breathing. Abdomen also expands, thoracic also expands, but more of yeah. clavicular breathing. Here huh? I can see more of the clavicle, this part. Yeah. Here more of abdomen, less of thoracic. Here more of clavicular, less of thoracic, less of. So it's checking in the part. Okay. okay. I think this is over, I think. Chak chakra, lie down, close the spread left, ankle, balancing the breath, away from the pranava, pranama, server this is the other movement, the scanning and moving the prana to retain the current imbalance of the prana. Balancing the prana movement of the hand, the eyes, temper, three of them, ear pit, chest, navel, etc. Having the avalanches on the nerve impulses moving along with the vayana prana. Okay. Aware of the Satchapra will be the mantra colors and all everything. Whenever you shoot your students, you know, you have to show the slide of the Satchapras. The impact in the nowadays when you teach the children, small children, image, the dad gets reciprocated in the mind immediately. Right? Image, animals. You must put ketchup on the A dog, A. They show the dog, they show the cat, they show the sheep, they show the goat. Right? What the point? So any difficulty? Huh? Any difficulty please? How is my presentation? How will you like it? Don't flatter me. No, not flattering. It's something very new. I think it's overwhelming at the moment. You know that new information that comes in. So it's overwhelming, I would say. It's good information. Uh, we'll take time to digest and apply. This is not a college. This is not a college. That's why studying at passing you know. You have to put it in practice to the patient. Okay. You have to put yes. it in practice put it to the pregnant ladies. Relaxation is very much important for pregnant ladies, especially for the trimester stage. Come out and treat the patients, not take the classes. Initially, start taking the class one or two years. After a good experience, Prenatal portion of course, karna hi hai ladies. Mm -hmm. Ladies are more acceptable in the house rather than in the house. So, aapko karna hai, aapko at the end of the year, itna ladies ko normal dilo jo ho gai kalkir, that is the success. So, that the first thing. And it could also play the very important part among the ladies. Yes, nutrition. Very, very nutrition. And nowadays, For me, my... And nowadays, Paru remember the IT, IT girls and all. I need not tell you. I find. Pizza, pizza, pizza and all. 
Hello. Now we'll go to. Sorry, I have got two lectures. Two lectures for me. Huh? Mantra. Mantra chanting. Okay. I'll stop the recording.